All right, so our uh, sniffing's been going on for a little bit, a little bit more than 30 minutes. Um, it generally doesn't take this long, but I guess this network's going a little slower because I'm not doing much activity. But anyways, what we want to do now that we've have um, over 20,000 data packets is we can go open up another shell console, and you can do that just by clicking down here. And with the new shell console, go ahead and type in a. Uh, you should already be in the uh, directory here. Just type in dir. And I'll show the, uh, the documents in that directory because sometimes it likes to rename them on you. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I guess passcode 02 probably our latest document. So let's go ahead and uh, access that document and see if we can retrieve that key. So we're going to type in error crack ng, that's the command, uh, space minus or hyphen a, and that's going to set the mode. Uh, for WP, the mode is going to be 1, so we're going to do space 1 space WB which is this is going to specify the uh, network we want to crack which will be the uh, this address right here which we should still have copied there we go that, that's the uh, MAC address of the access point so go ahead and put that in and then space and from here we want to specify the uh, document we wrote all the uh, IVs to which should, should be this one right here that's the latest should be a dot CA, CAP file so I'll go ahead and paste that and from here we're going to hit enter and what this should do is should, this will uh, crack the document for us and give us the key we need alright here we go says it decrypted correctly 100% and here's the key so this right here is going to be the WEP, WEP key we need to get into the network so to test this out let's go ahead and um, open up a notepad document here once we have our note, notepad document open, um, this is basically where, where it um, differs on which path you're using. If you're using on Linux OS, you just proceed as normal. Use this key found to basically get into the network. But if you're using Windows, like most of you are going to be using anyways, um, we want to go and copy this down to our local system's notepad. So let's copy down the key, which here will be 84. And let's go ahead and leave out the semicolons. It's going to be 84 F43C. 903A. That should be our WEP key. So from here we can go ahead and test out the connection to the network. Uh, we can just go to control panel and then uh, network and sharing manage networks. Oh actually what we first need to do is we need to uh, close out of this connection because it's using our our wireless adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. Just exit out, power off. Okay. Okay, now that we've uh, went ahead and closed out of our virtualized OS, we're going to go ahead and check our wireless adapter, which is shown here now, and it's not connected. We're not connected to any network, so we can go ahead and try proceeding connecting. If we hit connect, we'll see the network this is my network right there, and there's the network we cracked. Now, before connecting, you may want to take some precautionary steps, um, like changing your MAC address, changing your IP address, and computer name. Uh, to change your computer name, you can just go to your uh, system properties here. That would be a little different Vista. And change settings, basically system properties, and here you can specify to change computer name, and you can change it there. I'm gonna leave mine alone. I'm not too worried about it, so I'm gonna leave mine as is. Um, also, as far as MAC address, every um, every NIC card has a MAC address already imprinted onto it. Every network device, for that matter, and you can actually change the physical MAC address, but you can change registry values that spoof your MAC address, basically give off a false MAC address. And that's good because um, sometimes people keep logs in their routers. Generally, they don't. No one worries about it. But if you want to be extra cautious, it's best to go in and do it anyways. And it shouldn't affect you at all. All it'll do is it'll disable your device and then re-enable it. But I have a Mac just change your .exe. I'll go ahead and link a uh, download to it in the uh, description. And from here, you can specify which adapter you want to change your Mac just for. I'm going to go and do it for my wireless. And from here, you can just alter the values. Um, I'm going to. I usually just one up mine. So rather than one C, it'll be one D, one nine. See, just mix it up a little bit. It's best to copy it down, but you can always reset as well. And from here, just change it. It'll disable and re-enable your device. You proceed from there. I'm not too worried about that, Nita, so I'm going to leave mine as is since it's just temporary. All right, and basically now from this point, we can go ahead and connect to the network. There's our house, and we see it's a security enabled, WP encrypted. So we're going to try to connect here. And let's go ahead and copy down the WP key, WEP key we uh, cracked and enter in here. And you'll see there's our key we cracked. And let's go ahead and try to connect. And right now it's going to be trying. It's trying to connect to the R house with that uh, the key we provided, and it went successfully. So that is a, a successful crack there. So we can uncheck these, close, and we are now connected to the R house private network. And from this point forward, you can actually um, 
see here. You can actually view all the network uh, computers on the network. Um, you can access the computers directly if you know how. You can, you know, there's certain steps you can take to actually, you know, put uh, files on their computer, not only in their shared files, but you know, get into the system itself, view their shared files, um, you know, speak directly with the computers, net send, shutdowns. Um, you can access their router as well. There's lots of things you can do. Um, but basically, we are in their network now. So if you ever need free wireless, this is one method to choose. Or if you just want to, you know, get on your your friend's wireless network just to mess around, that's another way. But this is basically how you crack a WP key. And um, hope you all enjoyed. And good luck. Mushroom hat bangers. Subscriber. Uh, uh, well, die. <laughs>